Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 19 of Darwell20's FTB Revelation series, uh, where today I've opened up my base. Look how fancy it looks. Nice. Windows are cool. I like windows. Windows make my... It just look a little nicer, right? A little bit nicer with some windows in the base. Let me see the outside. Uh, you know, remember that there is an outside out there somewhere. You might even see out this window here that I cleared out behind my base a little bit. I just wanted to... You know, I used uh, some, some gadgets as it were. Some gadgets were involved in the clearing out of this space, for sure. Um, and uh, just started planning for what's going to eventually be like a big area here to, to work in. I might wind up eventually filling in this whole area over here. I don't know. We'll see, right? But my plan is similar to... Uh, so, like, there's a couple ways I've done my bases in the past. Sometimes it's all one big base, right? Where just, you know, all the things, just one giant base with everything connected, interchanged, and whatnot. Um... And then other times I do things where I have different structures dedicated to different mods, right? Um, so I'll have like a, a structure for Thalmcraft and I'll have a structure for Astral and that kind of thing. So I think that's kind of the plan, believe it or not. And I might even use that temple that's up there because it's so darn close to my base. That might be my Astral thing at some point. Like I'll probably change things up in here, but I mean I very well could just, just, just tap into this existing set up right and and have my astral thing in there once we get to astral sorcery right but currently we're working on thalmcraft which is cool times um i do want to get like a thalmcrafty building here um as of the time of this recording i haven't gotten any uh tweets about it but uh on one hand i want to have one on the other hand i want to continue down thalmcraft so i'm debating if i want to like just try and build one myself or see if you guys submit any while i'm uh on my little break where you'll be getting lots of backlog cleared out. So then when I come back, um, I'll be able to see what you guys have submitted and maybe build it then. Uh, that's what I'm leaning towards because I really want to pull in some of your submissions um, for, for buildings like that. So like basically like if you can think of any mod like Blood Magic and Thalmcraft and Astral Sorcery and um, Batania and, and Nuclear Craft, like all those mods that you know I'm going to be playing with throughout this series, Feel free to say, like, here's a building for that, and then I might use it in my series, and that would be cool. Um, so I want to get that going today. The other thing I really kind of want to not waste my time not doing is I would love, if I could, to get... Now, are you a bobble? You are a bobble that goes on the head. So I could theoretically just put you in there, couldn't I? Oh, yeah. And then I could wear a normal armor. That might be a good idea. really like that idea. I really kind of like that idea a lot. Um, cause I would love to get some dark armor going today as well. It's, it's kind of something that I've been saying for a while I should do and I need to just do it. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on at this moment is get dark armor going. Um, and maybe even making another alloy smeltery so we could automate that. Cause I don't think we have one automated down there yet. Right? So if I wanted to get an alloy smeltery, like what do you need to do? I need you and you, and then I'm going to eventually need some dark steel. Okay. Um, so chassis, do we have any of those? We do. All right, so let's get, um, the alloy smeltery, uh, going here. Now you also have the enhanced one, which is cool, but we'll look at that later. I want to start with you and then go from there, right? So we're totally going to need a cauldron. Are you a recipe that I can make relatively easily? Relatively easily. Um, you're going to need to be that. And do we have dark steel in here? We have a few, but not a lot, but we should also have you known how to make... But you're not the recipe that I want to pull in here. I want I want the real iron. The real iron. Alright, I, I grant that I don't have a lot of real iron, and that's on me. Right? I'll own that. I'll own up that mistake. That's probably part of it. But that's okay. Another big to-do is automating the ore processing, which I haven't gotten around to yet. I definitely want to do more Thalmcraft today, but I also want to knock out some of these like tasks that I should be working on. Right? I think that's going to be an important uh, thing. So if I wanted dark bimetal gears, right? We just pop these dudes into here. And I'm just going to... Oh yeah, that's right. You're busy doing things, aren't you? Help out. See? Me with always forgetting to turn things off. All better. All better. Okay. Um, did I make the, the, the cauldron or no? I did. Good. Okay, cool. So what am I missing here? I'm going to need basically a bunch of dark steel. So let's get, do we have coal dust? Uh, a little bit. Let's get some of you cooking. Right. And then, uh, iron. 
Let's get two more. Uh, and obsidian, right? Is that what it is for dark steel? Why am I forgetting what dark steel's recipe is? I'm pretty sure that's right. In the alloy smeltery? Yeah, obsidian. Hey, I was right. Good job. Sweet. Now you're usually a little bit slow, but luckily I have a little thing to help with that. I got a little, I got a little thing that can help out with a with a slow craft. Not too shabby. So let's see. Can I get Ender IOs two of these guys, please? Oh, you need to know how to make the dark steel. Okay, fair enough. Guess I'll teach you to do more patterns. 20? Missing iron. Okay, fair enough. Working on it. Working on it. Promise. Now you're happy. Okay. So, two of these. All right. Womp womp. Eh, you'll get done in a minute. I should really do those 4K crafting thingies so that I can have more of those going at once, too. I should really look at doing that. More of these are absolutely needed. 100%. It's funny because you get it like you, you're you like, I, I have some things I've accomplished. And then you're like, man, I have a lot of things that I just haven't done yet, eh, haven't I? Pretty much that is, that's where we're at, right? You got to be done soon, right? Getting there. Okay, so that should be two dark bimetal gears. That should be an alloy smelter. And we should have what we need. So I'm on board with that. So let's get this guy set up. We're going to want an interface back here, right? Really? I don't have any more of those? I thought I had an extra one, but maybe not. So you and you, right? Uh, and then conduiting as well. Interface, there you go. So boop, boop, and the alloy smeltery. So, all right, and you need a capacitor, which we have one of. I can throw, what do you look like? Increases energy source, uh, capacitor of the southern winds, ancient capacitor. We've got these dudes. I wouldn't mind, like, you're 29 max, you're 30 max. So you're actually probably not as good. Dud, the word dud in there is probably bad. If you had to describe this good, hungry capacitor dud would be a bad name. Yeah, no, that sounds terrible too. I think you can basically tell by the RF per tick usage whether it's going to be a good machine or not. So we're going to make you alloys only so you don't accidentally craft anything that's not an alloy. And both of these seem like they're bad capacitors, which is meh, too bad. But at least now we have the capability of teaching this thing how to make things like dark steel, uh, among other things. All right, so I think that would probably be smart to do All right so if i want you in this mode to know how to make dark steel in the alloy smeltery boom to boom sweet now do you know how to make pulverized coal yet probably not but i'm going to teach you the pulverizer recipe but i'm just going to exclude the fact that you get sulfur out of that right because i'm pretty sure we didn't do the pulverizer recipe for coal yeah i didn't so we did now though and then alloy smeltery should be up here cool Perfect. And then in addition, I probably wouldn't mind you knowing how to make this. And do you know how to make, did I teach you that one already? I guess not. Boop, 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 boop. One of these days I'll figure out what the purpose of that, of that thing is. But that's you. Right, because if we look at the chassis, like what is this? Iron alloy ingot. Like what's what's your what's your deal? Molten iron alloy. That's an interesting. Tin plus iron plus lead equals iron alloy. Or two lead and an iron. Huh. Very interesting. It's a weird addition. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. But okay. Alright, so with all that stuff covered, I should be able to request my dark iron. So let's get a full set, right? So five plus eight equals 13, plus seven is 20, plus four is 24. 24 dark iron. And I'm gonna request 24, even though I already have 12, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, I think I've got all the dark steel that I need, right? Now I'm looking at all the upgrades that are available. I 
think that's the best way to look at all the upgrades that are available, at least. It seems like it was all of them. Yeah, it looks about like it. Um, I'm not seeing anything that specifically says it prevents fall damage uh, from falling, but we'll figure that out, I think. Um, there's protection against bees. There's inventory. There's increases jump step and jump height. Allows triple jumps. Allows you to walk up blocks of their stairs. Flippers is funny. It doesn't have a description, but I can only assume it makes you swim faster. Um, makes reasonable sense, right? Uh, so we'll see what happens with Dark Boots. And if, if we have to figure out a way to make fall damage hurt less, then we'll have to figure out a way to... I mean, Angel Ring is always an option, too. Don't forget. that. That's something I also need to get taken care of. But armor first, other things second. Uh, so I want to basically get these guys added to the to-do list over here. Um, I think what we should do is teach you how to make a few things. So, for example, I need you to know how to make this, right? That should be reasonable. And then you also probably need to be known how to make, right? Oh, so that should be cool. And that shouldn't be too big of a deal, right? Alloy smelter, cool. And then, um, I also need you to know how to make these guys. So I want you to have that recipe, but then you, sir, actually, no, I need you to know that. And then you, sir, need to know how to make this in the alloy smeltery. Uh, which is a thing I'm going to need to teach anyway, because we're eventually going to need to, you know, handle this better than we currently do. Um, which is manually, right? So all the alloy smeltering recipes, boom and boom. Those guys are absolutely going to be needed to be taught at some point, right? So let's get four of these and four of those from Ender.io, right? Um, so four of you... You're missing Ender Pearls because, of course, you are. But hey, it's nighttime. But oh, also, hey, it's dark out. Hey, buddy. What fortuitous timing! What fortuitous timing! And then we also have one more Nebulous Heart that we can snag and turn into things, right? So I want four of you. Really? Or Law and Glowstone? How's that even possible? Ah, uh, today I learned. Hey, guess who's going to the nether? Guess we'll be right back. I think that's probably a reasonable amount. I love teleporting home. It's pretty much my favorite thing to do. Come on, buddy. Nice. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, so for Ender.io, we're going to want for you... Needs more string? Really? I don't have any string? How am I low on string? Can I turn wool into string? I feel like I can pulverize wool into string. Does that sound like a thing I could do? Pulverizer. Yeah, it is. That's what's up. That is 100% what's up. Alright. Look at that. Who needs string when you've got a pulverizer and a wool farm? One of these days I'll get like a mob farm going on so that even more do I have, you know, this kind of stuff. But aside from that, I think we're good. All right, now let's try to make the things we need to make, right? So if I want for you, this is really a test to see if the way I set this up works. It does not. Boo. There you go. So if I put you in push-pull mode, and I totally need to make better capacitors, but I'm going to teach it how to make better capacitors in a minute. Oh, this is probably going to turn into an Ender I.O. episode, but that's okay. Next episode, we'll be back to Thongcraft, probably. We'll see. Uh, so while that's cooking, let's get one of you. One of you. One of you. Uh, no, not you. You. That makes more sense. And that looks good to me. Sweet. All right, cool. Now your four upgrades are done, so that means I can request four of you, and that should be cool. Nice. Um, and we'll request four of these. I really need to get the silicon thing going on. Do you know how to make silicon? You do not yet, okay. So that's a thing I should probably teach as well. With the old sag mill. We'll get there though. So many things to automate, so much so much to do. But I definitely want more 4Ks, like four more, so I can craft five things at a time. Does that sound reasonable? 
See, we're already running into the you don't have the things that you need to do thing. And that's bad. Right? And that's why we want more of these. Sweet. You're doing the thing right. Good job. Okay. We'll just speed this guy up a little bit. Now, why are you short an ender pearl? That shouldn't have happened. I think I know what happened. It's because you're in. You're in. You're in that mode. So he's still waiting. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, and that should put an ender pearl in there now, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna have to do. This was part of like what I was testing. But what we really need is item conduits here. Um, and instead of you being in push pull on the bottom, you're just gonna be none. And then you're gonna push out the back. And what we'll have is an item conduit type thing here. That's the wrong kind of thing. Uh, you're gonna, actually no, you're gonna insert. And you're gonna extract on green. And that should be cool. Okay, nice. All right, so with that going, I should be able to request the four of these that I need. And while that cooks, I also want crafters. Or 4K crafter block. There you go. I need you to make these guys. I feel like that should just be taught. Because you know all the prerequisites for that. So just by doing this, it'll be making it a little bit easier to craft. Cool. So while you're cooking that up, we'll get to work on our dark steel things. Okay. So with this plus this, we should be able to combine these, right? And now what do we need to, four levels needed to activate. So here's what I'm gonna do. Four levels, and then shift click, right? Or click, there you go. Well, that's cool, what does shift click do? Oh, that's neat. I can apply it right in the field? Huh. Well, would you look at that? Did that work? Oh yeah, look at that, it did, sweet. That's neat, okay. Okay, that's cool. Nice, all right. Click, click, and click, right? And then I should be able to just boom, boom, and boom. And now I've got Empowered 1 going on. Right now, if I want empowered two, which we probably do, and three to be fair, so empowered two is going to require a capacitor. So I want to teach you how to make all tiers of capacitor. Right, that's another thing we're going to want to get going here. So you are this, you are this, and then you are this, and you should know or have all those things already. Right, so I should have no problem getting four capacitors. Okay. So meanwhile, how's this thing going? Good. Let's get four of these. Oh, we're short on iron again? Killing me, buddy. All the irons. Meanwhile, get another stack processing, would you? How am I for smooth stone in here? Not terrible. There you go. Sweet. Okay, so you're cooking up more of those. Let's come back in a minute when they're ready. And also I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them. So let's get our cables here going. Because I basically am gonna wanna move you and put you somewhere else. Um, what, kind of, what kind of channeling do I got down here? You're currently using, wow, five. Okay, cool. Good times. I'm thinking you should probably, let's branch you off. How does that sound? I like that idea. So what I'm gonna do, eh, I don't wanna replace you too badly. And then I should probably move this thing to be fair. Yeah, see, and then I need to move my security terminal. There's a lot of things I have to move if I'm gonna move them. That's a nuisance. 
Meh, we'll let it go. You're still cooking up your stuff, right? Oh good, you're done? Oh good, you are done. Sweet. And then the 4Ks, and then the combining of those, and then adding on this guy. And what I'm thinking is we just pop them into the floor down here. Like right into the wall. Like maybe we'll do some, like right within the wall here would look cool, I think. So one, I'm gonna give them room to grow probably. So I'm gonna put two gaps in between each. Yeah, that seems reasonable enough. Okay. And then I kind of want you off of this guy, to be fair. So how am I going to run this cabling? That, that's, that's the trick, is running this in a smartish way. Because I really should be a little bit smarter about how this is laid out, and I'm not at the moment. I'll be right back. Let me think about it. All right, I think I've found a reasonable way. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good, right? I like that. works for me. Now, if we try to craft something up here, right, so we should have five channels in use. That's, that's, that's the moral of the story, right? If we look down at that cable there, that should be five channels in use. Nice. Okay, cool. And eh, I, I think that's fine, right? It just, it happened, it's, oh, I should throw an anchor here. That's what I should really do. just to be extra safe. That'll prevent it from accidentally connecting to that. Because I think when the chunk reloads, there might be a chance of that happening, but I don't honestly know for sure. Okay. There you go. I think that's cool, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. But at least all my crafters are online now. Cool. All right, so now if I want capacitors, um, so what we want is upgrades. So we want, so I want to tier two, three, and four times four. So 12 of these, and that seems reasonable to make. Okay, that looks good to me. And then in addition to that, we're also gonna want capacitors. Uh, so I've got the four for the tier ones. I'm gonna want four of you. Well, actually let's get like six of these. Oh, we need more ender pearls, that's right. Is it nighttime? Oh, yes. Let's go hunting. Enderman, Enderman, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to take your ender pearls away. Enderman, where are you hiding? Already liking the armor. Already feeling pretty good. And it ain't even empowered all the way up yet. I'll take it. All right, let me kill some Enderman. See, I didn't take fall damage there. Do I just... Oh, does Dark Steel just like, oh, just being empowered equals no fall damage. See, see, perfect, loving it. Already the right decision. Booyah. All right, back in a few as I kill Enderman. You know, it's my day job, killing Enderman. So I don't think I'm gonna get as many as I want, but I should be able to pull off four, just barely. And then also four of you, nice. So I kind of wanted one to speed up this guy, like I wanted a better capacitor in here, but that ain't gonna happen, unfortunately. So it is what it is, right? So get to work, would you? Come on, a little bit more. A little bit faster, please. Yeah, I can see you not having the power to do things. That's a bummer. I really need a better capacitor in here. Could I at least get a double? Give me one more of those, would be nice. You know what I'll do? Is I'll borrow the double out of here. 
That should work, right? That'll at least allow it to receive power faster, I think. And that should help. It's at least faster. Wow, that's a lot. I requested a lot of things, didn't I? Oh well, life goes on. Probably using a ton of gold. I foresee myself going back to the Mesa biome really soon. All right, so we've got 12 of these bad boys. We want one, two, three, four, empowered twos. We want one, two, three, four, empowered threes. And then we want one, two, three, four, empowered fours. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I have an empowered four on this dude, do I? I don't. I only have him up to power four as well. Maybe I should upgrade him too. I don't think I have enough ender pearls for this. I do not. I am short one. I don't think we have any more of these dudes, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we have any resonant clath rate either. Nope. We're just going to have to be patient. I'm not good at that, if I'm being honest. So you need uh, 8 levels, 12, and 16. Wow, that actually might be a lot, but we'll figure it out. Back in a minute once I, well, am I going to be able to pull this off? Let's find out. I have no idea how much experience I have inside this book thing, but I should now at least be able to come over here and be like, you, 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 and I think this just leads to more protection, basically. Okay. And then, what was it, 12? Yes. Now, to be fair, I've been doing a lot of mining and a lot of mob killing, so I should have a decent amount of experience in here. And if you extract it out properly um, and only extract out the amounts that you need for each upgrade, it goes a long way. It really does. Nice. And now 16 levels per... I have no idea how much experience is in here, but we'll find out soon if we're going to have enough. I like this tome. It's a very nice tome. It's getting low, but it did it. We had enough. Beautiful. How great is that? Empowered four. Nice. And now they're all charging up their RFs. Beautiful. Now you're probably draining at a pretty significant rate, right? And you're probably extracting at a pretty significant rate, but that's okay. I'm down with that. Nice, 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 nice. That's not bad. Don't forget you can enchant this stuff too, can't you? Yeah, you can totally throw enchantments on this armor too if you wanted to go nuts. Don't think we need that yet, but if we wanted to throw enchants on this stuff, we totally could. All right, so um, step assist is usually a thing I like to have on, right? So I think let's take a look at what's next for us, right? So we've got all this stuff. I'm not going to go empowered five because that requires just a lot. Probably a lot of experience as well. Yeah, 20 levels per. So I'm going to skip Empowered 5 for now. I also am going to skip the revealing upgrade. So that's for, uh, you know, but we can use we can use this thing as a bauble. So I don't think we need to do that for now. But I wouldn't mind uh, upgrading my speed and uphill step assist. And I think the rest is about it. So that would be that. All right, so that's not so bad. So let's get like this dude. Hey, look at that. Uphill step assist. Now, how much experience do I have to dump into this dude? Two levels. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now I can't right, or I shift right click him. Oh nice, okay, cool. Well, that goes into storage, huh? I'm very confused as to what just happened. Okay, I now know what happened. So can't you go on here? Depends on empowered and jump. Oh, I need jump on there first. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, let's get jump going on. So that would be a piston and a wooden gear. So let's get like six more of these. I think that seems fair. Um, three. So I need wooden gear. Really? I'm always out of these. So jump two, oops, jump two, 
requires an energized by metal gear okay cool and then jump three is the vibrant by metal gear eh, that's not so bad it's not so bad we'll look into we'll see what jump one does for us and then we'll kind of go from there how's that sound and i wouldn't mind getting speed going as well so that's going to be a potion of swiftness so that's just going to be the redstone version now i don't think we have a a brewing stand yet but we should be able to make one right i think we've got some we do. We do have some of those left. Sweet. Did we get nether wart while we were down there? That's a very good question. Do I ever use this? No. Do I need it anymore? Also no. Uh, did we get any nether wart while we were... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say we got a lot. But it's probably going to be enough to do the thing. So let's get you up. One of these days I'll teleport in the right spot. There you are. Boop, 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 boop. And some blaze. Nice. And then we need some sugar. And some redstone, right? Now, I'm, I'm assuming... Speed two is, huh, uh, it's just, oh, so the only difference there is not the speed potion, but which gear goes with it. Okay. So all three should be turned into, oops, wrong thing, into the same potion, and then we'll just use uh, different gears to make that get accomplished, right? So let's get energetic alloys times four. And then we're going to want a Vibrant um, times one. That should be good enough. We have one Ender Pearl. Actually, you guys need to do this. And then you'll be good. Cool. I'm interested to see how good these speed upgrades are. It's been a while since I've played with the Ender IO upgrades, obviously. And I mean this whole mechanic of crafting them and right clicking them and all that like that's just not something i was used to so i'm excited to try that out as it were okay so let's get a speed upgrade and we've got the jump upgrades right so we'll hold off on anything beyond that for now i want to get these guys going so you are four levels and four levels also because i have no idea how much experience is left in this thing and how much further it's going to go but for you, we're going to do this, and then we're going to do that. Nice. And then for you, you're going to do that? Okay. Oh, that definitely seems faster, doesn't it? Doesn't that seem faster? I like that. And then we also have uphill step assist, too. Oh, loving it. Faster running speed? Oh, yeah, you guys have no idea how much. Like, I, I've gotten very addicted to that in my modded playthrough career. So, like, having access to that now is pretty cool. Okay. So let's do speed two is going to be this, right? Speed two. And that would be six levels. And shift right click it and it'll go in there. No, it goes into the storage again. Why do you keep wanting to go into storage? It's not what I want, buddy. I want you to go in there. Oh, that feels even better. Oh, I like that. I, I mean, I, I can't. I can't not, right? Like, I kind of feel like I have to. I gotta do the thing. And that would be eight levels. Sweet. Enchant you up. Boom! Now we're cooking. Now we're really cooking with some speed. Ooh, I like that. Now, is there like a... There's not an Ender IO category. Glider. Oh, Dark Steel Armor is the category. So we can toggle what? Speed with a hotkey if we wanted to. Just wanted to know that I could toggle it. Not sure that I need to toggle it, but just knowing that I can is kind of nice. Okay. I'm down with that. Look at this. Now we're cooking, guys. Liking that a lot. Maybe I'll throw one more jump on there, because having a higher jump would be nice. 
I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't have the uh, resources to make jump three, but I'm good enough making jump one. Or jump two, I mean, right? So that's cool. So Ender.io, get me another Infinity Buy Metal Gear, please. And then you combine into making one of these. And then your jump two. I believe it was six. And then you can go in there. Oh, that's cool. Nice. All right. Dark Armor, you are awesome. And I'm very pleased to have you. And with that, guys, I think it's wrapping up point for the episode. So this was a Dark Armor slash, you know, uh, Ender I.O. episode, but that's okay. Because having this stuff is going to be awesome for me. It's going to make things easier for me to navigate, um, easier to do certain things. I should probably go mining between episodes. But yeah, this run speed, awesome. Uh, for now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, maybe get back into Thawcraft. We'll see. All right, guys. Take it easy.